in on here really quick just to show you how to cut wonky triangles for your perennial quilt, which you can see behind me. So you're familiar with this block if you made the Mod Mountains quilt pattern. So Mod Mountains was a combination of regular 60 degree triangles and then mini mountains or wonky triangles. Well, if you are looking closely, you can see that the perennial quilt is just made up of those little wonky triangles. So instead of just giving us little triangles like that in a row, we are rotating them. So because a 60 degree triangle, this is geometry, because a 60 degree triangle is the same on all three sides, I wish I had another arm, um, you can rotate it any way and it will sew together exactly the same. So a lot of the tutorials on how to sew triangle rows together for the Mon Mountains quilt, it's the same. It's exactly the same. You're just kind of rotating it really just in your brain because in reality, they're the same. The triangles are the same, but in your brain, you're rotating them. Twilight Zone. Okay, so I'm going to cut some wonky triangles and then I'm going to sew some strips to those wonky triangles. I'm going to trim the wonky triangle. How many times can I say wonky? Um, and then you're going to see how easy it is to make a wonky triangle. <laughs> okay, so in the pattern, we are to cut strips between four and a quarter. So this is the width right here. This is, this is the length. This is the width. We're going to cut them with a width anywhere between four and a quarter and four and three quarters. So if you are going to vary your, your widths, um, don't vary it so it starts four and three quarters and goes down to four and a quarter. Make sure that each of your little strips is the same width all around. So this one is four and a half. Now, another reason why the perennial quilt and the Mon Mountains quilt is great for scraps is because you can see that I'm going to be able to get a handful of blocks just out of a tiny little piece of fabric like this. And that's so nice. I mean, it's actually really cool if you're trying to make a memory quilt and you want to cut up some old t-shirts or um, some flannels. I think this quilt and flannel would be awesome. Okay, so all you do is just take a regular straight ruler and you're just going to make some wonky cuts. So I'm going to first cut one direction. Okay, so I already have my base. And I want my base to be at least, what do I say in the pattern? Three and a half-ish, something like that. Three and a half to five and a half. Don't overthink it. I mean, you're probably gonna make it at least three and a half because look how tiny three and a half is. But that's how tiny it is. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit wider. That's getting kind of wide, but I can make it kind of wide. I want it to be wonkier than that. So I'm gonna, gonna make it kind of wide. Okay, so I have one triangle, that's cool. Well, now I'm gonna make this one a little bit narrower. That one's gonna be kind of a leaning, a leaning triangle. So see how that's kind of leaning, that's cool. Okay, so I wanna make sure it's at least three and a half. So then this one, we're gonna have this one be kind of leaning too. And what actually, what is kind of fun, if you use reversible fabric, so a lot of solids are reversible. So let's say this one and this one are kind of leaning the same direction. Well, maybe I'll just flip it and it'll lean that direction. So it looks like from this scrap, I can get one more triangle. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. And I'm, I'm not measuring, as you can see. Um, I think I'm just kind of eyeballing things. Okay, so now you can see how easy it is to cut those wonky triangles. I did that in about 10 seconds. If I didn't have a camera on my face, maybe I could do it in eight seconds. That'll be my goal for next time. So now I have a tiny little wonky triangle and I have my strips right here. So in the pattern, I'm pairing together two strips with each little wonky triangle. So with the first step, you sew one strip. So we're gonna sew this strip to the side of the wonky triangle. And I am gonna get my ruler involved here and just kind of line up the six and three quarters with the base of that, just to make sure I'm not 
going to trim off, I don't know, like I'll be big enough. And I will be. So you see this, how it goes here, and I have room to trim. And up here, and I have room to trim. And it's not going to even be that big because a seam is going to be involved, and we're going to get another strip involved like this. And you're going to have lots of space. But I do this just for the first couple, so I, I don't end up with something crazy like like this, you know? So don't, don't sew your triangle like that. Because then when it comes time to trim, you're gonna be you're gonna be missing a sweet little corner. And we want all of our corners. So I'm gonna pull this back down. Bloop. I'm gonna flip right sides together. Bloop bloop. I'm gonna stick a pin in it. And then I'm gonna take this to my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew it. Okay, so I have sewn my seam, as you can see. I have ironed my seam, and typically I would actually iron toward the darker fabric. Here I have ironed out, I have ironed towards the lighter fabric, um, just for this demo. So it really doesn't matter, honestly. Once it's quilted, the reason I do that, iron to the darker fabric, is because sometimes this darker fabric can be seen through the lighter fabric, if it's, you know, if it's a really transparent lighter fabric. So let's see, are we back on track? All right, now it's time to trim. I'm gonna take just my regular straight ruler. Let's see, I've got a lot of things going on on my table. And I line up the edge of that triangle and I, uh, I find my rotary cutter, which I have wandered off with. Trim that. And now we're ready for our next strip. So once again, I have my strip and I, I might just, you know, just double check with my ruler just because this is my first block. Let's just make sure if I sew it like this. Do you see that line? Just like that. So we'll have nice corners if we did this and we trimmed. Perfect. It's so perfect. Right sides together. I'm going to take that to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew my quarter inch seam. Okay, so now we have our untrimmed triangle. What do you do? There are a couple ways to do it. If you have the template from the pattern, you can simply just lay it on this unit and trim around it. If you're using a ruler, which I am, you can, you know, kind of move it around, see what you like, see how wonky you want it to be. I'm just going to estimate that I want it to be about this amount of wonkiness. <laughs> I really am so tired of saying that word. Okay, so I like to trim the bottom first. So I'm kind of just remembering that I, I was uh, I was liking it when the ruler was about there. Oops, I'm holding my ruler or my rotary cutter very weird because of this camera. Oh, oh Susie. <laughs> oh, Susie, Susie, Susie. Okay, got it back on track. Yep, so we have one of our three trimmed. I'm going to line up the six and three quarters. And again, you can still just kind of rotate it. How do I want it to be? Mm -hmm -hmm. I want it to be, yeah, well, let's make it pretty wonky because, you know, I've been saying the word enough. We should really do it. All right. So side number two and then side number three. Oh, voila. Oh, it's so beautiful. And there is our wonky triangle. Ain't nothing to it.